Hello and welcome to this week's video where we're going through the usage of capital letters. Would you believe it, there are 10 different usages for capital letters. Now most people think capitals are the most simple, basic topic going, um, and it's true, you know, on some levels they're very easy. I think most of us know that we need a capital to begin a sentence, for example. But the thing is, if you know a handful of the uses of capital letters, but then you don't know some of the others, in an examination or maybe a piece of coursework or control assessment, you're actually going to be penalised for the ones you don't know. So it's all very well having them at the start of sentences and maybe for names, but if you get some of the other usages uh, wrong, then you're going to lose marks. So in this video, I'm going to go through some interesting ways of remembering the capitals through just remembering able prints. So I've done a video before on capitals, but this is better because this is a way, if you can remember able prints, each letter stands for one of the reasons or one of the ways you use a capital, and therefore it will help you to remember uh, very easily when you should be using them. So the A stands for abbreviations, like LOL for laugh out loud or BBC. All abbreviations need to be in capital letters for each letter. B is the one that everybody probably knows, the beginning of a sentence. Um, here's a, a simple sentence. There are 10 different uses of a capital letter. And that sentence starts with a capital T at the beginning. I think one of the problems with this rule is that some people don't actually understand what a sentence is. And that sounds like it's being really kind of negative, like of course we know what a sentence is. But actually, as you'll see if you look on the other videos in this grammar series, sometimes there is some confusion over where one sentence finishes and another one starts. And of course you need to know that to be able to put the capital in the right place. So again, it seems simple, but it's not. The L stands for languages, or languages need capital letters for the first letter of the word. Emphasising words is the E. Sometimes if you want to express a, a really strong emotion, such as in this sentence, I hate you, you can put the whole word in capitals. There is a bit of a sort of dilemma though in an exam, if you're writing in a formal tone, you don't really want to do that. This is quite informal. Uh, this man's tattoo is a good example of it, but you can do it technically if you want to emphasise a particular word. The whole word can be placed in capital letters. On to prints then, so the P for prints stands for places and words relating to them. So uh, Africa, capital A, African, capital A. Religions is the R in able prints, all religions need capital letters. The personal pronoun I, as in the word I, in I love you, needs to be a capital. And I always think this is interesting because on a computer, uh, a capital I looks like this, doesn't it? But when you're handwriting it, we tend to put the two lines across here. But if you ever write the word I on its own, as in, you know, just the letter I as a word, it needs to be a capital. N is names of people, places, countries, organisations, days and months. The example on this uh, picture, of course, would be Jeff. Um, that would need a capital J. T. This is probably the trickiest one. Titles of books and films. Uh, but it's only the first and important word. So I choose the Lord of the Rings as a good example. The is the, or this, you know, word here, the, is the first word of the title. So the first word of all titles needs to be a capital. Um, but in the rest of it, of course, it's only the words that are important that hold the meaning that are Lord and Rings. Of the, it's just these little words, and these kind of words that aren't important in a title do not need a capital unless they're the first word in the title. So that one takes a bit of getting your head around. And S is for special days. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve, as I record this video uh, here on December the 23rd, 2014. And special days, Christmas Eve is a very special day, and both words need uh, a capital, so special days too. So there it is, Able Prince. It's an easy way of remembering how to use capitals because you can just think about what each letter stands for. And everything you've seen in the video comes from the ebook. If you're interested in grammar, do follow Kerry Lewis at Mrs underscore SPAG. 
She's got a great series on this topic. She tweets all the time about uh, really useful spelling, punctuation and grammar tips and tricks. And you can pick up the grammar book through following the links in the description too. So uh, I hope you found this video useful. Just a simple topic, but often it's the simple ones that we can make mistakes on. So remember Able Prints and you'll make no more mistakes.